Hey, relationship rock stars, let's talk about your relationship. And I want you to try on some new mindsets that help you think about your relationship kind of like a project instead of just another person. And you're already doing some things that can help you with this mindset. And we'll talk about that today. I'm Stacey Rockline, and I'm here to help you with your relationships so that you have less conflict and more connection. So I'm a parent. I've got three boys. And when I think about parenting, it's kind of like a project, but it comes with some mindsets that can be very beneficial when applied to my relationship. And for you, when you apply this to your relationship, when you're parenting a kid, okay, you've got a few things happening. For one, you and your partner are sitting side by side, thinking about how you can best support this child. You know, you're a team, you're working together. And if you think about your relationship that same way, it's a small shift, but it's really important because a lot of times we think of it as me and you, and like sometimes we get along great and sometimes we're like this, instead of the two of us sitting together side by side, focusing on how to support the relationship as its own thing. It's its own thing that we're creating. So we want to get on the same team. That's one thing we do in parenting. And this just doesn't apply to parenting. It's like anytime you do a project with your partner or maybe you own a business together, you do the same sort of thing. You sit side by side and you think, how can we best support this child project, whatever. Another thing that you do is you make it a priority, right? We don't ever go, oh, we're just too busy. Work is so busy that I just, I'm going to put the kid on the shelf for a while and we'll come back to them later. No, they're a total priority. You think about how you can give them time, how you can, what resources they need, how you can share your energy with them. It's a priority for you. And we have to think about our relationships the same way. They, I've been married for a long time, 26 years, and it would be real easy to just keep humming along and not thinking about how I can feed that relationship but it has to be uh, considered and prioritized or else things will start to happen. Cracks will occur in the foundation. It needs to stay on the priority list. It doesn't matter how busy work gets. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world. It doesn't even matter if one of your kids is going crazy because sometimes teeners, teenagers do that. Your relationship has to be a priority just like you would prioritize that child. And just like you do if you're a parent. And the last thing that we do other than uh, sit side by side to support that child and make that child a priority is we have a, a an in it forever mindset. We are in it to win it for as long as it's going to be in our lives. And we need to do the same thing with our relationships. And it's not I don't, and I, I absolutely do not mean that anybody should stay in an unhealthy or even super challenging relationship. I think that there's just too many options for better fits for you to do that. But when you're in, commit to that relationship. For me, I mean, I can't determine what's going to happen in my life. I, I don't know. I, I have no guarantee, but I know that I plan to be married to Noel for my whole life. Like that's my mentality. I, I, because I don't have that quit uh, possibility, it's sort of a different thing, right? You think about something differently than when you just wake up every day and go, well, I guess today we'll stay in or, oh, I guess we'll just see how long this lasts. You got, you've got like one foot out the door when you're doing that and your relationship deserves to have all of your commitment and attention. So that's another mentality that, uh, that you can borrow from what you're already doing if you're a parent or if you do projects with your partner or anything like that is you're not going to give up on it, right? You're not going to tear your kitchen apart and then just leave it like that. You stay in until the end of the project and you want to think about your relationship that way. So those are just a few little mindsets, tools you already have, things you already know how to do that you can apply to your relationship. One, 
Think about it like we are sitting side by side as a team working on this thing together. Not like this. Think about prioritizing it. What does it need to be supported? Does it need more time? Does it need more energy? Does it need more resources? Does it need some some support, some therapy, some counseling? Do you guys need to go to a course together or a conference together, or read a book together? What does this relationship need? Making it a priority and we're gonna stay in this. Pretend forever and do whatever we need to cultivate this, to nourish this, to tend this garden that is something that we both live within all the time so that you can create that deep, strong, intimate connection with each other so that you can weather the hard times, so that you can harmoniously navigate your disagreements and really have a powerful, expansive, beautiful relationship. Now. If you think relationships are very important, like I do, you are welcome to come join us in our Facebook group, Women Committed to Relationships, where we just have all things relationship in there, how to support you in yours, siblings, friends, romantic, family, so that you can build these powerful relationships. Come join us if that sounds like something that would help you move forward into this beautiful connected life.